Hell yeah, dude. Party of 161. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, new record. Dude, maybe I can actually get partnered. Dude, dude I actually have viewers now, dude. What is this? I've never had viewers bro, before. That's crazy, is, bro. Like I said, dude, Susie might have given us a giant... Uh, <laughs> this might be a good thing. Yeah, I need to, um... I need to, like, pop out my chat one sec, guys. It's taking a minute for me to connect to chat. I see that. There we go. Look at that seamless transition. I like Hell that. yeah, dude. Except I'm still setting stuff up because I forgot to set... I'm not used to, like, setting up streams before after hours end, so I only started setting up once you reminded me. Like, I forgot you were going to raid me, so... But yeah, welcome, yeah. everybody. I'm not looking at chat right now, but... I'm well, that's sure one thing I do like about Twitch is that immediately we go from, like... It's, like, in a few seconds we're in after hours mode, and now we're in game mode. Hell you know, yeah, hell channel. yeah, dude. Okay. Let me reconnect my controller. Are you gonna stick Bruh. around or are you gonna hop off to like Edwin's stream? Cause I know you were going to that. Uh, I don't know if that's still on. He said, shit. Sorry, there's a spider in the wall, I had to kill it. But he said, uh, I don't know. I guess he got uh, too busy with the Davi stuff. That's fine if that's the case. I'll, I'll just hit him up later. Cause he never DM'd me, Um, but that's fine. <laughs> cause I'm, I'm probably gonna get off soon. Cause I've, I've got stuff to do. No, that's all, that's fine, yeah. But yeah. Dude, it's what someone says. A uh, rag says, "What if Pikmin is tied to the alt right? Maybe, dude. Who knows?" Dude, as long as you only got the white pick. <laughs> <laughs> Pikmin is literally just like it's just like. Dude, a, it like literally cool. is like controlling little races, right? You even sep <laughs> dude, you Whoa! dude, no, you separate them by color. There's literally a button to segregate them. I'm not joking, dude. There's literally a button to segregate the Pikmin. Right now, I only have blue Pikmin with me because they're the superior race for this. But uh, uh, yeah, you can segregate them, which is cool. Nice. Cool feature they add to the game. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> have you ever played Pikmin? No, I've only played a little bit of Pikmin 3. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love Pikmin so much. Was Pikmin 3 good or was it like a shitty, Um like, It was good. It's my it's my least favorite out of the three, but like in terms of like which Pikmin game is good, like it's always like a matter of perspective. It's kinda like the Galaxy 64 Sunshine kind of argument where it's like all the games are good, but just like whose favorites depends on the person. The yeah. the only shitty Pikmin game is a 3DS one called Hey Pikmin, but the first three are good. I mean, this is like a hack of Pikmin 2 that someone made that I'm having a lot of fun with. Dude, I, yeah. I didn't show you guys on the stream, but we were like the uh, the third highest talk show on Twitch. Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. That's really good because then like people who just want to see talk shows, they can like get introduced to After Hours. That might actually be better than the YouTube algorithm. I'm not sure. Yeah, true though. And also, I, I, there's like a little recommended system in here too, so it, it works. Oh hell yeah! Someone said we have 129 viewers. Thanks, thank you all for uh, sticking around. I appreciate it. Normally we only have like 20 viewers in here, and I still like the 20 viewers. It's chill, but it's kind of cool that you guys uh, are here as well. It still says five on my end. Oh damn, dude! Well, obviously, there's more than that. A couple years ago, I was always like super nervous to stream actually up until i became a co-host on after hours i was always too nervous to stream because sometimes there was like long periods of time where i'd have zero viewers and i feel like super demotivated when there's like nobody in chat because i feel like i'm i feel like i'm talking for no reason and stuff but then like if someone comes in chat randomly i don't want to like not be talking and not being entertaining so yeah. i feel like starting out streaming is like is a struggle because of that specifically uh, so yeah, I'm super glad to have uh, all no, these people No, I remember here. like, I remember that same feeling. Oh yeah, the viewer list just updated. Damn, hell yeah. yeah. Dude, did I break your record? Wait, what was your record before? Uh, on Twitch? I'm not yeah. sure. It was probably much lower. It's probably like 50 or something. Wait, um, 53, yeah. Yeah, 53. My, yeah, when I was a gaming YouTuber, my biggest stream I had was like a 12-hour Undertale stream I did, and that had 50 views around the end, and I was like, I was like so stoked, dude. I was like, oh, 50 viewers, bro. Dude, I remember when the KSI versus Logan Paul fight 
happened. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, when that happened, I had like 70 viewers and I literally thought I was like the biggest streamer ever, dude. I was like, oh my God, dude, 70 people showed up. Dude, that's insane, bro. Remember when I first started streaming? Like within the first week of streaming, I had a stream with like 12 viewers and I thought like, I was like, oh my God, bro, this is huge. Dude, 12, <laughs> yeah. Like I had no sense of perspective. I was literally just like, oh my God, 12 whole people. That's insane, bro. Yeah, well, my perspective on viewers keeps constantly changing, too. Because I remember I had videos that I thought blew up back in the day. And still relevant to how I was doing, it was blow up. It was, like, yeah. you know, 10,000 views or whatever. Which is nothing to, like, laugh at. Especially uh, for how my channel was doing at the time. But now it's, like, if I don't get 10,000 views, like, within the first hour, like, something's wrong with my video. <laughs> Wait, Biggie Just says crazy. I was the number one talk show stream on Twitch at the end. That's insane, because at the end, obviously, there's lower, because people have tuned out. Yeah, it's because not a lot of people stream under talk show. They stream usually under just chatting. Uh, I think, at least. Oh, like, what is uh, the Trainwrecks podcast streamed under? Is it just chatting, or is it talk show? I guess. I'm not sure. I, don't know what the, I, I just assume just chatting is like no prep, you're just chilling or whatever, whereas like a scheduled like proper show or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how I see the difference too. Oh look, this treasure is a disc of courage, a GameCube disc of Wind Waker. Cool. But yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how I see the difference, too. I think that's how people do it, generally. Like, what we're doing now, if I wasn't gaming, it would be, like, a just chatting stream. But then, like, After Hours is obviously a little different. Yeah. I'm just trimming it out for YouTube. Oh, you're, like, editing the VOD a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I'm like, I'm just, I, I trim out the music. The one nice thing is if I do get remonetized on YouTube is like the VODs have no music on YouTube. Yeah, so. but the very old ones still do, so I still think you're gonna be fucked in that regard. Let's see. Train wreck streams under talk shows? Oh, okay. That's what I huh. thought. Uh, I feel Twitch viewers are worth more than YouTube viewers too. Yeah, for sure, in my opinion. I mean, to get partnered on Twitch, you need like 70 five viewers and for youtube standards like that's not that many like i could easily get that on my youtube channel but for twitch since you only can grow it off streaming i mean i guess technically you can upload videos on twitch but not no one's gonna watch that shit um it's a lot harder to get like 75 co-current so it's like a big that's still a pretty big milestone yo what's up uh grizzly bears how you doing the disc contains information on how to take out the liberals oh shit how does one Pikmin? How many of you guys in chat have actually played Pikmin? So may maybe I can like explain the game a little bit to you guys for those of you who haven't. I mean, it's basically like a, it's kind of like a mixture between like a real time strategy game and a adventure game. So like obviously like I'm controlling a character, like, you know, if I were controlling Link or Mario or what have you. But I also control these units that follow me and I can like use for certain things. So it's like a real time strategy game mis mixed with like an adventure game. So it's pretty fun. You just, you gotta like collect treasures and stuff. I've played one and two, haven't tried three. Three is really fun as well. Three, we like it's interface is, it's the best for its interface and its graphics. The graphics in three are really good. I really hope they put Pikmin 3 on Switch, because that has been rumored for, like, a while. Uh, but... Oh, yo, what's up, Aiden? Dude, I joined, I joined midstream, and I had, I thought I had my mic low, but I had the game turned all the way up, because I was recording a song before, and I didn't realize it, and I laughed, and apparently it sounded like a fucking... Hurt. Oh, it sounded like <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> Did you guys hear my new song? No, I didn't. Uh, someone asked, is this console a PC? Well, I'm playing this on PC through a Dolphin emulator, a GameCube emulator, but Pikmin is only on GameCube and Wii. Pikmin oh, you're too. streaming? Yeah, yeah, I'm streaming games now. Did Augie just left? Oh, did Augie leave? I didn't... I didn't hear she because I'm in streaming Warzone mode. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm playing Pikmin, so, for my All stream. Right, see ya. Yeah, I didn't know Augie left because I, I wasn't looking at the Discord. Damn. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll left I 
Dude, why didn't he say bye, dude? What the fuck? Uh, you wow. I'm kinda like gonna expose him, but... Wow, I'm exposing Augie for lack of courteousness. What the fuck, bro? Lack of cur is that a word? I don't know. Courtesy? Uh, I'm gonna expose him to Yo Mama. The Yo Mama YouTube channel. Suzy Lu should cover Bring Me to Life. Rude? You know what's rude? You having a sub to Augie RFC but not me and then posting RFC's sub emote in my chat? No, that's pretty rude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Aiden is alt-right based. I agree. Let me check my Discord. Oh, Aiden left. Okay, nice. I had streamer mode enabled. The, th the shitty thing about streamer mode is like, you can't like hear people leave the Discord, so I literally didn't know anyone left. I've done all of these Pikmin streams up until this point without people, so like I'm fine with it. It's just that I wanted to know when people left. But yeah, I've just been enjoying, like, I've just been enjoying these Pikmin streams because they're like a bit of a break from drama. I don't have to like work on like the tweets and all that stuff. And I wanted to be, I was streaming like daily, almost bi-daily up until like literally last week. I haven't streamed this in a week because of all the drama going down and the content nuke and everything. So I'm glad I can get back into it, but... Like, even now, technically, I should be working on the Content Nuke Part 2 video to get out tonight, but I felt like I'd take a bit of a break because I'm a little burnt out on drama, to be honest. And I do really like doing gaming streams. Like, I started uh, as a YouTuber, as a Let's Player, and I still, like, have that, like, desire to want to, like, talk over video games and have fun in that way, so... I'm hoping that I can, like, build up my Twitch to have, like, that persona as well. Like, there's Boblax for his gaming videos and then Boblax for his drama. Because originally when I blew up off the Pokemon situation, I actually wanted to still do gaming videos alongside drama. But then I, f I literally didn't have enough time to do both. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to focus all everything on drama and then maybe I can move to gaming later again. And the thing, actually, the thing I like about being a drama channel more than a gaming channel is that when I was a gaming channel, I felt like every time I played a new game, I felt obligated to like record it or be like, I couldn't enjoy the game. I always felt stressed like, oh, the new Nintendo game came out. I have to stream it. I have to stream it. But then I got again, like how I was mentioning earlier, I got nervous for streaming with zero viewers. And then I like go on this weird mindset where I would like dread new games coming out because I felt like there was an obligation to play it. But then I didn't want to make content for it. And but and I honestly got to a point where I stopped enjoying video games for a bit But then when I moved over to drama and I could just like play video games for like, you know For fun it just started becoming more fun again And now that I have like an audience to stream to that like I'll, I know if I stream I'll consistently have like 10 viewers at least or something like that. I feel I don't have that issue anymore. So it's like really nice I'm glad that you guys uh Support me even though it's not drama content specifically Okay, this is gonna Oh, uh, this is gonna be clutch man because I can't I can't attack this guy with blue Pikmin because blue Pikmin aren't immune to fire So like I'm trying to kill this guy, but I don't have that many like other Pikmin Yeah, this looks like I'm getting like a good combo off a uh, good like cycle. Oh, I just killed two of them. Get him! I don't even know if I'll be able to kill this guy. Oh, I should also mute, mute my tweet deck because it's like making that sound, the tweet deck notification sound. Oh, no! Don't kill him. And I'll I'll read chat after this. I'm just like kind of focusing on killing this guy and making sure my guys don't die because this is a little bit clutch right now. No, don't kill him. No! Oh my god, dude. I might have to restart this whole floor. Damn. Yeah. 
Well, maybe it'll give me a good chance to start off the VOD fresh without that weird, like, transition from after hours. Because I haven't been uploading these VODs to my second channel. And I kind of want to more show it as, like, a let's play rather than, you know, a stream or whatever. Let me read some of these uh, chats. Shit, Susie's shitty cover made me want to go back to 2000s rock and pop hits. <laughs> like, bring me to life. Drama channel seems more freeing to just talk. It is weird when <clears throat> game-only channels get into drama and report it. I know, right? Uh, I, I do feel like I'm much more freer to talk about anything I want uh, with drama. I like this setup a lot better than what I had before in terms of how I do content. I've been playing Pikmin 2 and lost Pikmin and didn't hit reset button. Blame it on your gameplay. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm the best Pikmin player. Come on, dude. Hey, Boblax, if you want... If you want, I can make custom Twitch emotes and sub badges. No need for payment, just like for free, just to kill time. I've done two these days. Tell me what you want. Oh, sure, yeah. I've been thinking about getting sub badges, actually. Uh, in terms of emotes, my emote slot's already filled. So unless I get more subs, I really I don't need any more emote art done. But I definitely need the sub uh, badge art done. So I might hit you up later if you hit me up. Uh... I actually like the emotes I have now, though. Okay, let's restart this. Do, 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 do. Stop. I wonder if the dread... Dude, the water wraith is in this hack, dude. And we're in the cave with the water wraith, dude. So many good other female vocers that Susie Lou would have covered. Okay. Okay, let's first let's... I want to do this a lot quicker than I was doing it before. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Uh... Alright. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. I don't mind. As long as the little bulb men don't die, I'm fine with that. Because those are the more important people right now. Okay, now for my true Pikmin skills. I was... I wasn't showing my true power in the last run, dude. Now, I'm going to show my gamer skills, bro. By not killing these guys? Oh my god, there's no room to move, bro. What the fuck? This is not fair. This game's broken, you know what? Okay, okay, that was a practice run, okay? I was practicing right there, okay? Wait one sec, I was practicing, dude. That didn't count, come on, bro. That didn't count, that didn't count. That didn't count. Okay, now. Remember when I made Bikman to replace the water race theme with Chugga's freak out? Oh my god, that was so funny. Says I, it says I have 300 points, but I have 100. That's weird. By the way, do you guys like my points? My puzzle pieces? <laughs> yeah, I will delete my channel if you, uh, if you get 1 billion points. No joke, dude. You gotta get 1 billion tism points. As an autistic man, I have to make a chimp noise now for Luna Lizzie. Okay, there you go. I don't know if that shit's embarrassing or funny at this point whenever I do it. I kind of have like a mix, a feel, a feeling of both, you know? Where I feel like embarrassed, but at the same time I know it's funny. You ever get that feeling? <laughs> That's a talent, no shame. Hell yeah, dude. That was an impromptu chimp. If I, if I had more warm up, I could do a better chimp, chimp noise. Texted you in Discord, we can talk later. Okay, hell yeah. Oh my god. This is Luigi's Mansion music, right? I think so. Alright. Let's segregate my men. Let's get ready, let's power up, let's get in position. There we go. Quarter. Do that four more times. I should be good. Oh! No, 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 no! Bruh! Bruh! 
All right. Wait, what? Depth perception? I threw it on him, not in front of him. Holy fuck, bro. What is this game? Okay, I want to go back to reading tweets. This is not fun anymore, bro. What the fuck? Dude, why do I only have five Pikmin to kill this guy? This is bullshit, bro. How many times can I say bro in one sentence, bro? I don't fucking know, bro. But this shit is fucking ridiculous, bro. Holy shit, bro. What the fuck, bro? Oh, my God. Dude, why do I only have five guys? I should have more, right? I There's like... I swear there's like another Baldman person on this floor. Yeah, there is. Like, All right. All right, all right. Dude, I need to take off my hoodie. I'm getting triggered, dude. Dude, this Pikmin game's getting me sweating, dude. I don't have more... No, I don't have more sprays. If I get 7k, you will play cool math games? What the fuck? That's not a reward. You can't force me to play cool math games. What the fuck? Maybe if you get me 7k viewers. Alright. Is it that keen? Yeah, it is. It actually is a drum alert hoodie. Dude, I gotta rep my boy in these trying times, dude. All right, this is the this is the run, dude. This is the run. Can't even beat the first fucking part. We're in the stream for 20 minutes and we have made zero progress. Oh, that's wonderful, bro. That is great. You can tell I haven't played this for a week. I didn't know me not playing this for a week would impede my skill that much, but apparently it did. Imagine if Susie was a California girl. I will reach out to all my YouTuber friends to try and get you 7k viewers. You really want me to play cool math games. That is dedication. I mean, hey, if you somehow get me to 7k viewers, then... What the fu- Blue Pikmin, why? You are too dedicated to me, dude. Stop following me, dude. Never asked you to follow me. You fucking dumbass. I swear, dude, these Pikmin, they're retarded. Yeah, let's just say the, uh, the blue Pikmin aren't the smartest race, dude. Their IQ's a little lower than other colors, uh, other types of Pikmin. Let's tell you that much. Okay, now that we got our 10 guys. Segregate. Whistle. Power up. Get him. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, we almost got him. We almost got him. Why am I throwing blues? Why are you picking up blues? This game has mental damage. Holy shit. This game has full on brain damage. What is this? I, holy shit. What the? F I was about to kill him and then I just throw blues. That makes no sense. Why am I throwing blues again? You fucking. You guy, dude. Holy, 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 holy. I told my Pikmin to segregate through race mixing. Fucking hell, bro. <sighs> we did it, guys. <clears throat> that isn't even the hardest part of this floor, dude. I'm not ready for this, bro. What is this game? This game is Pikmin 2. You lost 105 Pikmin. Oh god, this cave. 
This is not gonna be fun. Okay. Let's see where the treasure is. It's here, okay. Delicious? What the fuck? It's not a word I ever wanted to hear. Susie Licious. <laughs> Pikmin interrogation. <laughs> Integration. I can't read. Integration. I think that's what it says. Dude, I'm tired. It's been a long it's been a long week, bro. It's been a long week. I've been like Constantly working on videos, dude. Why are Pikmin dying? Where are they dying? Where are my Pikmin dying? What the fuck? Where are the rest of my Pik- What the fuck? Dude, all this drama is getting me irritable, dude. Dude, I just gotta pretend all these monsters are taking my sponsorships and then my anger will be properly channeled. Josh auditions to be a chimp voice actor? Hell yeah, dude. Dude, I could voice as Diddy Kong in the next film, dude. If they make a Donkey Kong film, you know they better call me up as the lead role, bro. <laughs> oh hell yeah, thanks for the sub, Luna Lizzy. Finally didn't I I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh Maggie Lo <laughs> They're <a> race mixing. <laughs> just making exposed video. I don't normally make exposed videos. I mean I just did with Pokemon, but that was stressful to get out, dude. I was... <sighs> Five dollars a month. Oh my god, there's more? All right. Where's the last treasure? Where is the last treasure? Oh, Sentient Burrito, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that a lot. Hell yeah. Hopefully we can get some better, like, um, badges and emotes out of that. Very important question. Did you shave? I am electing... No comment. I'm electing not to comment on that highly sensitive situation. And before someone gifts her a sub, Pokemon pick po people have gifted Pokemon a sub to my channel before, my Twitch. So if she ever comes to my Twitch channel, she'll see like the resub button. It'd be funny. <sighs> so many stupid ass spiders, bro. I only have four of these guys left out of the ten, dude. <sighs> I guess, I, dude, I guess I'm just rusty, dude. I feel like if I was playing this game as a kid, maybe I would be better at it. I don't know. Like, I got worse at video games as I grew older. Dude, younger people are, like, way better at video games than older people. I have no idea why. There has to be, like, some psych sort of psychological thing to that. Oh, hell yeah. The copy strike emote, dude. Hell yeah. Can we copy strike Boblax? <sighs> I 
I'm tired of this bullshit. You know what? I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm throwing all my Pikmin on him. I don't care. I'll whistle them if they get fire. I'm tired of this dude. This is taking too long. You know what? I just had to put the the foot down on that one. Oh, yo, what up, uh, Envord, dude? Envord? <laughs> I'm back from a fat shit I just took. Hell yeah, dude. Always super relieving when you take that big fat shit, dude. Boblax kids' brains are more... <sighs> Mally... Malleable? Malleable? Yeah. Everyone says kids are retarded, but I feel like when you become an adult, you become more retarded. Like, the more I grow up, the more, like, I feel like I'm stupid. Like, you learn from experience, yes. Though you're, like, more wise in that way, but in other ways, dude, you're just, you're just going downhill, dude. Like... <sighs> Jesus, I'm yawning today. I have no idea why. Um, if you had the knowledge of someone who's older, but like the intelligence of a kid in terms of like how to process that information, you would be like a genius, dude. Maybe geniuses are actually mentally disabled, but not disabled, mentally enabled because they don't have their brains deteriorate. Like, uh, normal humans do. Maybe that's why geniuses exist. They're just- they're just people who retain the same cognitive ability as when they were a child, but they have the knowledge, dude. As an autistic man, this is my theory. Okay, I need to get this, these guys to do Baldman specific things, not break down walls. And I gotta do shit quick because there's a certain threat that is on these uh on these floors. Yeah, I've gone worse at games. Reaction time is slower, I guess. Yeah, dude. His coconut guns will fire in bursts. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. What the fuck? Stop fucking with my boys! Dude, I didn't have control over any of my men because that fucking dumbass bug took it over, dude. It's like, uh, when the Keemstar fans watch the H3 video, dude. The newer Keemstar fans and they, they get converted, dude. That's exactly what it is. And then Keemstar, like, gets back in control of them because they realize it's all bullshit, dude. <sighs> Obviously... Obviously over-exaggerating. Don't clip this and they're like, Oh, Boblox thinks Keemstar did nothing wrong. It's like, uh, no. Fucking clip chimps. There we go. I feel like we're do. I feel like I'm making more progress in this floor. I feel like I'm doing much better. Although I could be playing better, I guess. I don't know. But we're getting the hang of this, dude. DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong is here. Hell yeah. Back when Rare wasn't cucked by Microsoft, true? Oh my god. 
Is there actually treasure behind there, but there's like a poison guy behind there too? Oh my god. You know someone's gonna clip that because of reverse psycho- Dude, if people listen to my reverse psychology, like, what? Use your brain, bro. I don't even understand how people get fooled by rever reverse psychology, dude. Like, um, people are making this argument about Keemstar, right? Where it's like, Keemstar is quote tweeting on Twitter saying, don't go after their sponsors and it's people are making the argument that Keem's intentionally reverse psychology so that people go after Ethan's sponsors. I'm like, dude. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? Like, what can he say instead of that? Like, nothing? Then people go after the sponsors anyway. I don't know. Like, is there any way that this guy can look good in your eyes? Or are you just... Yeah, it is a reach. But a lot of people like it. There was a tweet that replied to it, and I had like half the likes of Keemstar's tweet. It was like the biggest reply to it. Like 2,000 likes. I don't know, man. People are just dumb. Yeah, I don't know if the Water Wraith is on this floor. I hope not. I only have five of these guys? Why? They keep dying, dude. I literally have less of these bald men than Katarino has boyfriends, dude. Dude, that's that's a visual representation of all of Katarino's boyfriends slapping her pussy, dude. They're all they all want in, dude. They're all trying to break it down the wall. They're all trying to break down the wall, dude. <laughs> Katarino charm. Dude, think about it. These are five individuals, and Katarino had more sexual, simultaneous sexual relations than those five entities on screen. Dude, it's Super Mario Sunshine. Oh my god. Dude, that disc is so nostalgic, that disc artwork for Mario Sunshine. I love that disc, dude. Oh, it does come, okay. <sighs> Here it is, we're in code blue situation. So yeah, basically, for those who haven't played this game, in this one cave, this this only applies to the one cave in the game, but we're at this cave. This ha happens to be where we are in the game. Um, if you spend too long in it, uh, unkillable beast shows up with a roll with a that steamrolls all your Pikmin essentially. So if you run into it, it will roll over all your Pikmin like a steamroller and kill them all. Disc of Heroes, hell yeah, dude. All right. We need to safely get to the exit. Oh. Ah. Wait, don't come in here. Dude, there's no way out. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude, 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 dude. No. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Just get me out of here, dude. I just want out. I don't give a fuck. Dude, there's a wall in the way. Oh my god. Where are the rest of them at? No! 
Get away! Oh my god, I lost half of them. What the fuck? <sighs> Don't come in here. Fuck off, bro. Wait, can I like move my captain somewhere else to like bait him in another direction? Oh, I thought I dismissed my Pikmin. Do I continue on or do I restart the floor? I feel like I would restart, yeah. Bruh. Uploading a new video? Dude. So, I haven't played this far into Pikmin 2 in a long time, so I'm not exactly sure how the Water Wraith AI works. He does follow you, but I don't know if he is attracted to the Pikmin or if he's attracted to the leader. If it's just the leader, I'm pretty sure I can bait the, the guy. Okay, so I think we have about like five minutes before the Water Wraith comes, I would guess. What? People are saying yes and no, dude. So I don't know if... Oh, it's captains. Okay. I, I thought it was captains. And I remembered that. And then I was like, oh, I'll try that. And then I fucked up. Yeah. I didn't multitask that well. It, it was like a while till the water wraith came. So I was like... Does he come this floor? Because I know he didn't come on floor one. And in the original Pikmin 2, he doesn't come until like four, floor like three or four or something. So, I wasn't sure. Don't fuck up or I'll- Oh shit, subs are on the line, guys. I might lose my entire channel. Everything I've worked for if this water rate fucks me up. My whole audience is watching me. They're depending on me, dude. The however many viewers are in here from Augie's stream. I don't just have a small audience, dude. I have a big audience watching me, dude. For... <laughs> out of all the streams that could have had, like, higher viewership for the Pikmin streams, it's probably, like, one of the worst ones. Because it's definitely, like... This is definitely the hardest task I've had to do in the game up until this point. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we can unlock the end quicker now because we know where it is. Like, I didn't even have any of that ready to go when the Water Wraith came. We have three treasures here, and I think that's all of them, actually, so... I'm not sure. There might be another one, but I'm pretty sure there's only three. I don't remember there being more than the ham, the coconut gun... And the disc. Just the fact, but... Wait, what that streamer said about $5 and $5 can't even buy one meal. So with $5 in my country, you can buy enough food for a whole week? Oh, damn. Yeah. The f only $5 a month argument is, like, really dumb. I think I got really lucky with the treasure placement here. I might just have all of them done right away. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want to reset initially because I was like, I don't want to like redo all this like 24-7 for the stream, but this is going by a lot faster than last time, so. Mainly because we didn't have to deal with that little like um, whistle bug or whatever. Hi, Bubble Axel. Bubble Axel of the content. Thank you, uh... Ant job. An, or a nut job. <laughs> Chat, I haven't had a donation in over an hour. 
<laughs> that fucking meme, dude. Yeah, I don't care about people. Like, I guess if, like, streaming's your full-time job, I guess you can get annoyed if there's not enough donations. But I feel like if you're entertaining enough and you have, like, enough of a viewer base, you will always get consistent donations. I mean, that's how it's, like, for Augie's stream, so. Disc of Heroes. Wait, is that a- Oh, I can't tell because of the little- the whistle bug. I literally can't tell. Okay. I will kill the bugs, and if I have to leave, I will have one of the captains by the hole ready to go, dude. If I can actually separate them properly. There we go. What are you doing with- <laughs> You have hours of time to watch me and not five dollars- Oh my god. So dumb, man. I don't know if it's just me, but I find like the comments Pokemon made about it's a Gundam though more egregious than the five dollars a month. Cause like, I feel like she was like more aggressive in that, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a matter of perspective. So many Twitch- Dude, Twitch streamers act like super entitled. When's their full-time job? I've explained this before, I think on like After Hours or some other stream. But the thing about uh, Twitch streamers is that when your whole life is to be on social media... Oh, there is one more treasure. Okay. When your whole life is to be on social media or your main occupation is to be on social media, obviously you're going to get some big of some ego. Especially if it happens quickly and especially if it happens if you're younger, right? There's a, it's just something that will happen and the person isn't necessarily malicious or wrong for that. Especially if they try to grow out of it. But with Twitch streaming in particular, your income isn't based on AdSense, it's solely based off the people. So you become entitled in like a more severe way. Uh, and I feel like it creates this like, this expectation where it's like, I make this much streaming, I should make this much streaming. And if I make less than this much streaming, then it's the people's fault for not subbing or donating. Like, fuck you, I'm putting in this work. There's no reason why you shouldn't sub and donate because I've been getting this X amount of money for, for streaming in the past with the same amount of work, right? But with YouTube, it's like income that isn't coming straight from the money m people's pockets. It's like sponsorships, AdSense, you know? People can watch for free and you can still make money. Meanwhile, on Twitch, if someone watches for free, you're not necessarily making money. Although there are Twitch ads, there are there is relevance and stuff that is added. So I would say even a free view helps. Like even, like I don't think watching without subbing is freeloading. Mainly, and I was thinking about this like more after the Destiny debate. I didn't bring this obviously up in the Destiny debate because I just wanted it to be like rock solid. I didn't want to like bring up anything I wasn't super confident in or I just didn't think about the topic too much. But, um... Another major part of that is like, if you're watching without subbing, you're not freeloading even by like Destiny's de definition because, what the fuck is, oh, what? That guy was there? I, I swear I'll finish my sentence eventually, guys. Jesus, everything's distracting me. Um, you're not freeloading because you give relevancy to that person. Like, let's say there's 10 viewers you have, and they all donate $100, right? Or you have 100 viewers, and during that stream, you only get $10 worth of donations, right? You would probably rather have the 100 viewers and $10 worth of donations, because it gives you relevancy to where more and more people will find out about you and watch you, and then you can, your potential income is increased through that increase in relevancy. So if you're watching for free, you're not freeloading, you're still contributing to, like, benefiting the creator. So I don't agree with the freeloading in any, any aspect, right? Now, I guess the comparison people would bring up is, like, if you pirate a movie, and you talk about the movie with your friends saying it's a good movie or whatever, and you don't pay for it, that's still freeloading. And I guess that's the case, but... You can't compare a movie to Twitch. A movie takes, like... A movie costs money to make, right? 
in a Twitch stream, I mean, it's not te it's technically not free to make because, I mean, you need a microphone, you need a computer or whatever, but you're already going to have those things. Those are things that you have for other reasons, or maybe you just have it for streaming. But once you have that initial cost out of the way, you can essentially make content for free, uh, and the only thing you're... You're ta the only thing you're committing to is a time commitment, right? Which is still worth something, I guess, but it's just so much more different, man. So much more different. So I don't see watching content for free from a content creator as freeloading at all. And I feel like if you do see it as freeloading, you're just not looking at the whole picture and you're not, one, you're not thinking about it enough, and two, if you still think about it enough and you still think it's freeloading, then you're just, like, really entitled. Like, you have a bad mindset, not just for content creation, but in life in general. Like, I bet if I met up with any of these Twitch streamers, like Destiny or whatever in real life, I would much rather meet up with a YouTuber in real life than a Twitch streamer, because a YouTuber's gonna, I feel like a YouTuber's gonna be more, like, down-to-earth and real, and a Twitch streamer is more gonna be, like, they're they actually think they're better than you like legitimately think they're better than you Maybe there's some big youtubers who would hang around small youtubers and they think they're better than them or whatever But I feel like the likelihood of that happening with a twitch streamer far as that way the far outweighs the likelihood that would happen with a youtuber So in real life, I would rather like be homies with a youtuber rather than a streamer. I know streamers would uh, reply to this and be like, oh, well, you know, YouTubers are scumbags, they expose each other or whatever. Oh, first of all, not all YouTubers, because there's different types of YouTubers. Like, with Twitch streamers, no matter what they do on Twitch, I would no I would think they have this, like, sort of entitlement, right? And I'm not saying all Twitch streamers, but I would say that, like, a lot of them would. But with YouTubers, like, the only ones that would necessarily be scummy or that you would think would be scummy would be drama YouTubers and there's so many other types of YouTubers as well and even drama YouTubers like at the end of the day like most drama YouTubers don't care about the drama as much as they let on in the videos it's true like their online drama life and their real life are not like as intertwined or whatever and I don't think it's as much of a core part of their personality like I don't think like for example I don't think uh, you know, how Ke uh, Keemstar might be an extreme example, especially now, but let's just say, uh, yeah, angry video game nerd, let's say that, right? I don't think angry video game, how he acts in his videos, is how he's gonna act to me in real life, right? But I believe that, you know, a Twitch streamer, like Pokimane or some other person, they're gonna act, uh, in their Twitch stream, they're gonna act to you in the same way that they do in their Twitch stream. I actually know that for a fact with Pokimane. She's fake with her Twitch audience in the sense that, like, she pretends to be like, oh, ooh, woo, Omegi oh, lol girl or whatever, and then has these, like, slight moments where, like, the mask slips off and you can see her, like, being really aggressive and it's, like, such a tonal shift because she has, like, the fake personality and then the real one slips out. And she still acts fake like that even in DMs occasionally, so... Yeah, I think YouTubers... If, if like someone was telling me like who they think like if someone if there was like if I had to say who was a better person just objectively based off like only knowing one's a youtuber and one's a twitch streamer I would guess the twitch streamer is the more disingenuous person or non-desirable person as it's, it's less disingenuousness and more entitlement and entitlement isn't necessarily like the worst thing in the world like I, I think like you know, other things are worse than entitlement, right? But... Yeah. And now we have to deal with the water raid. This music, dude. I like that there's like a bunch of GameCube discs in this map. Fuck. Gotta hope they don't go through electricity, man. Gotta monitor them closely.
but not too closely because I don't want the water wraith to squish them. I have no idea where the water wraith is. I'm spooked. I'm spooked. I don't know where the exit is either. Where's the exit? This map is big. Oh, it's right there. All right. Keemstar is actually good for the YouTube community. I agree. I mean, Keemstar is not a great person. But I believe... And he he's done a lot of bad for the community. I'm not going to say he's, like, fucking perfect for the community. But I'm, I mean, I'm glad there's, like, a variety of different people. And sometimes he says the type of stuff that someone who is nicer than Keemstar wouldn't be able to say. So I think he definitely has value to the community, even if he's not the greatest guy. Which might be a weird take, but... Okay, Water Wraith, can you not go near my Pikmin? Yo, come over here instead, bro. Fuck Pikmin. Am I right? Oh, okay, well... Uh, you can do that, I guess. You could do that, I guess! You could do that, I guess. I feel like face cam would be really good for this part. Jesus Christ. What do the puzzle pieces do? They're my channel points. They add, uh, they give you little, like, things, like a highlighted message or what have you. I can add custom things too. I add the, the, the delete channel option, but you know, it costs a billion, so you gotta rack up those points, dude. I swear, if Twitch adds the feature to like combine channel points all into one person to make get like a community reward. And like you all guys all collectively get have a billion and then use it. Oh my god. Cause I don't think any individual person could ever get a billion, but maybe collectively you could, but there's no option to do that yet, so I'm safe for now. I need to find where the shit is right away and then just fuck off. Is it, uh, yeah, it's behind this wall, one of them. Alright. Alright then. I need to get these guys actually flowered up, because it helps a lot. Helps them work faster, too. Dude, the deer emote. <laughs> dude, I need to play Deer Hunter on this channel, dude. That'd be a fun game, bro. Okay, where's the next treasure? Here. Gotta get this done quick. 
No more fucking around. In your conversation with Destiny, you said you had... Wait, one sec. No, don't do it. Yeah, look at that in a second. Is there anything over here? No. It's a very delicate cave. Normally in this game, I can like chill with the chat and look at it, but this is like a very delicate area of the game. This is probably, this is probably the worst area. As I said earlier, this is probably the worst part of the game to be at for like the big raid Augie gave me, but whatever. Um, Is there any more? Sh okay, there is shit over here. Oh my God, really? What? What are they dying to? Oh my god. In your conversation with Destiny, he had... He said your content was manipulative. All you do is retweet. <laughs> he didn't know what content I made. He talked without knowing... This is what Destiny frequently does. He talks without knowing what he's talking about. And it's just dumb, dude. Like, mean, just know what you're talking about before you speak. It would help- it would help him a lot. That's how he gets fucked up on certain things. He just always thinks he's right, and a lot of the times he is, but... You can't always think he's- you have to be open to being wrong, man. WHERE THE- Okay, who the hell- how the hell are my Pikmin dying? How and where? What? I'm literally with them. I see them! There's nothing here! How are they dying? This is n dumb. This is like the stupidest fucking shit. Fucking die, you stupid whore. Die, die, and cheat. Mm. This is so annoying. Like, I can't even, like, properly put my reticle on him because the fucking dumbass treasure's in the way. The treasure's in the way, and every time he picks up the treasure, I have to knock it off him to do damage to him again. This is, like, literally infuriating and is wasting so much time. I'm trying to do this quick so the fucking ki kid doesn't kill me. Is he flinging me, like, outside of the fucking... The bounds so the game just glitches and kills the Pikmin? Is that what ha <laughs> You... Are not coming on my screen right now. The crush glitch. It's a glitch that my Pikmin are dying. Why did I have to be... Dude, I want to stop talking about drama. I want to relax. And I have to be at this part of the game. Out of all the parts of the game I had to be at, I had to be at this part of the game. I couldn't have had a nice happy stream with a happy part of the game. Yes, yeah, Pikmin 251. This is a ROM hack. Yeah, this is GameCube. GameCube emulator.
Yeah, I'm excited for a potential Pikmin 4. I'm just not getting my hopes up because it's been taking so long to come out. This stupid fucking frog, you fucking bitch. Can you, like, stop? You're annoying. I don't like you. I hate everything. I hate every enemy in this game. I hate everything about this game. I hate life, and I hate video games. Fucking hell, dude. This cave is stressful because you gotta do everything fast, so, like, normally I'm like, oh, I can take my time, whatever. I'll just do this carefully, but you have to do this cave fast, dude. That's the thing about it. It's just crazy. Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing? Hope you've been well. If I can just get, like, this treasure out of the below range, I'll be fine. I don't really want to kill this guy because he helps flower my Pikmin, but he's... Okay, you fucking piece of shit. You're just too annoying, man. I'm sure you would love this new vid. Oh my god. I'll check it out after the stream, dude. <sighs> Dang. Yeah, it might be a good thing for quality, I'm not sure. Rumors say that, like, Pikmin 3 Deluxe is done. They're just re waiting for the ideal time to release it, and I'm just like, uh... I hope that's not the same case with Pikmin 4. So dumb. I want it now. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. How you doing? The crushing glitch. The crushing glitch. I'm about to, like, just quit. I'm about to, like, straight up quit. I am on the verge, dude. I'm literally on the verge, bro. This shit is the most infuriating thing in the world, bro. I have mixed feelings on Pikmin 3 Deluxe on one hand. Uh, I'd be intrigued whatever new content they'll add. My copy on the Wii U doesn't work anymore. But with the uh, on the other, I'd much rather have a put... Yeah, I don't think a Pikmin... Okay, I think a Pikmin 3 remake is good. Because I don't think it will take away from a Pikmin 4. Like, yeah, maybe we'll have to wait longer for a Pikmin 4, right? But we've already been waiting so long that it doesn't really matter at this point. Plus, it might get more people into the series, which will encourage it. And if it gets popular enough, it will encourage Nintendo to release Pikmin more often. And then for the longevity of the franchise, that would be much better. So. I think it's good regardless. Maybe it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but... I mean, for Pikmin fans, we haven't had anything in, like, such a long time. That might just be exciting outright, you know? Oh, hoo -hoo. Nice, nice, epic. Nintendo needs a good online service. I agree. What is this called? Disc of Horror? Nice, nice. Is that everything? No. All right. Let's see. Is it here? Pikmin 2 deserves a remake. I agree. Pikmin 1 and 2 both deserve a remake. I'm glad the Wii, the Wii ports exist, though. Because the number one reason I would want a remake if the Wii ports didn't exist would be to add Pikmin 3's controls. But since the Wii port exists, like, I'm good. I wish I could play this hacked version on with the Wii port, though. Because the GameCube controller really, like, fucking me over. I'm not gonna lie. Are you- 
Oh my god. This is dumb. I think that's the last things. Just checking where the exit is. Are you- Oh! Oh yes! He got the corpse and not the treasure! Fuck yes! Okay, that's so good. That's so good. We got this. And the water wraith is only in the area where I got all the treasures already. So I'm good. Uh, what if it's just- It wasn't just a Pikmin 3 port, but a Pikmin 3, like a Pikmin trilogy? That would be so good. I would love that. I would love that so much. Holy shit. But they won't do that. Because Nintendo usually doesn't put their games in packs. They... Well, actually, they did with Metroid Prime. So they might with Pikmin. And they were willing to give out Pikmin 3 for free with the purchase of Wii U. Or, uh, with the purchase of... Uh... A purchase of... Mario Kart 8, so maybe they would do that. Because I was going to say, if it's like a Mario or Zelda game, they definitely wouldn't. But maybe with a Pikmin 3, maybe with Pikmin, they're like, oh, I can't, we can't sell. Maybe it would like incentivize sales or something, you know? And it could explain why it's taking so long to get a Pikmin, like, or remake or sequel out. Oh, uh, hell yeah, more Pikmin. Assuming too many don't die. Okay, that's the net gain of two, and then... They're also Baldwin, so... Oh my god. Okay, what GameCube game is this? Is this Pikmin 2? Or Pikmin 1? Dude, it's Pikmin 1. Dude, literally Pikmin in Pikmin. What? Dude, Pikmin came true. Wait, if this is a remnant of the past, because the whole lore of Pikmin is like, it's post-apocalyptic, and now this is like, all that's left is like, these little bugs and stuff. So, dude. Pikmin's actually gonna happen IRL now. Okay, where? Okay, it's that way. I don't know if there'll be more treasures after this. What is this one called? Disc of Knowledge. Is that it? Oh no, there's more. Okay, where is it at? I'm gonna explore without the Pikmin so I go faster. Okay, it's here? Okay. <sighs> oh yeah, there it is. Just didn't see it because of the angle. I don't even know what that is. What is that? 
Like some sort of army thing? Oh, it's like a toy army tank? Oh, nice. This is the future. We will all be a Pikmin master. No, we'll all be dead, dude, and Pikmin will take our place. It looks like there's nothing. I feel like that's everything. Okay, please be everything. No, it isn't. Then where's the last thing? Okay, it's over here. Okay. So it's towards the exit. So, okay, we're good. And I think there's no more- there shouldn't no, be no more than four. I feel like every floor has been about four treasures, so... I think we're pretty good so far. I don't know how long it's been. I think it's like five minutes until the Water Wraith comes. So, I think I should be good. Who has the treasure? Oh, the treasure's up there, okay. Yeah. Okay, while they carry that back, I can rescue the other Pikmin, because the jellyfish, like, stole some of the Pikmin. And if we leave the floor without them, I'm pretty sure, like, it just says, like, it will just kill them, I'm pretty sure. Oh! He killed them because they were in his stomach for too long. Okay, they're already dead. Whatever, fuck it. I'll just avoid them, I guess. Hoping that's the last treasure. Doesn't look there was like there was much other more pathways. There's like this pathway over here that is like that has like a bunch of walls up, but Pikmin are the real pandemic. T true, dude. These are all little COVID nineteen. This is what's gonna happen after COVID nineteen, dude. This is the Pikmin take over. I'd rather be a Pikmin than dead, true. But then you're kinda like a slave if you're a Pikmin. And you're kinda mindless too. Pikmin-demic. Okay, we're five sub-levels in. Sub-level four was a lot less egregious than the other ones. I think this is the final floor. Okay. Nice. Okay. That is so... Okay, so that wasn't too hard. I guess, like, the first few floors were really hard, but... We finally got out of it, boys. The fourth floor was surprisingly, like, kind of simple. Maybe it's because I was getting... I don't know if it, the fourth floor in particular was just easier or if I was getting the hang of it. This was a really bad time to take a break from this game because I was... <laughs> I took a break right before, like, the biggest challenge. And I thought I was... Like, if you remember in my last stream, in my last stream, I literally said, like, oh, I'll probably stream this tomorrow on the next day and quickly finish the game. But then, like, too much stuff happened, dude. So was it worth it to get like a bunch of views on a video or to be bad at Pikmin? You know what? If I could go back in time, I'd be better at Pikmin, dude. More important. They like working for all of my- I mean, they can't speak, so we don't know. Okay, no more Bobmen. Dude, this is the same layout as uh, the final floor in Emergence Cave. The first cave in Pikmin 2. That's kind of cool. So we're going to have the battle here.
Okay, come back here, you bitch. You fucking pussy. So, for those of you who don't know what's going on with this guy, like, he was unkillable on the other force because we didn't have purple Pikmin, but with purple Pikmin, he is killable. But they don't give you purple Pikmin till the final floor, so that's the... Uh, that's what's going on. Yeah, you gotta, like, stomp near him to, like, spook him. And he becomes killable. So it's like you're finally getting revenge after oh all the tormenting on the other floors. Although I'm kind of sucking big cock at this. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Oh no! <sighs> Your sonic blue blur thumbnail disturbs me. Good. <laughs> I love that thumbnail, it's so funny. What sucks about replacing the boss music in this hack is that like, in the original game, there's like, w once you like take the water wraith off of his, uh, off of his, uh, off of his like little rollers, um, he, ah, the music changes to be like this like wonky version of the track and it's really like really funny You could look it up online. I think it's like water wraith boss theme or something. I don't know Pikmin 2 Nope death runs and Pikmin 2 are really impressive and stressful. I agree Okay, come on, come, come down. Are you gonna... Is he coming, or...? <sighs> you hate quite? Why do you hate quite? Oh my god, what? It's like surfing, dude. What's going on? Wait, he's like glitching out. This... What's going on? What? Is that supposed to happen? This is like annoying. Can he like stand still cause so I can defeat him? This is just so time consuming, it's pissing me off. There we go. So goddamn annoying, bro. Why is he running? This is such a waste of time. I just feel so time constrained because of all the drama going on and all the videos I have to make. Uh, no, Pokey hasn't contacted me. I don't think she will. I don't even know what she would say. Apologize? The only thing I would- That's probably the only thing I would like, you know. Uh, respond to positively.
Oh, if you want to know what happened with Pokemon, I have it in my my new video, Twitter versus Pokemon. There we go. Okay. I don't think she has blocked me. Once she sees the video, I'm pretty sure she will, though. The water rate wasn't... Oh, my God. It was pretty bad. There's gonna... Yeah, there is gonna be a Twitter versus Deji. I just have to put it back because of content nuke and everything going on around that. You'd think I'd be happy for all the drama I have to cover, but it's just so much, man. Okay, this is really nice because it makes the caves real much brighter, see? So now I can, like, zoom out and actually fucking see. That would have been so useful in this cave, but, I mean, you can't get it until the end of this cave, so. Because before, if I zoomed out, it wouldn't really do anything visibly for me, but now I can see everything. On, on sight. So dumb. 79 Pikmin lost. Much more if you don't count resets. Or if you do count resets. Um, four GameCube discs. We got Wind Waker. We got Pikmin. We got Super Mario Sunshine. Got Luigi's Mansion. Boblox is a Twitter Jesus. I agree. Okay. Finally, everything's done in this area. Guess I could use the extra time to like build up Pikmin. Well, I'll use the extra time to like flower up Pikmin. I don't think I have enough time to actually like grow any. That was crazy. Alright. We have the purples flowered up. Pretty good. That was such a hard cave, especially since I only could bring blue Pikmin into it. Blue Pikmin aren't really good fighters. Like, if I had red Pikmin, that would have been, like, much better. But actually, let me bring the purples out and see if I can flower them. Well, there's only one that needs flowering, and I don't think there's any nectar nearby. But yeah, seven white Pikmin. That's kind of bad, but besides that... Looks like I have, like, a good amount of each type. Okay. Finally, I have every area completed. Except... The last one. Okay. Bob likes a Twitter Jesus who dies for our Twitter sins because we don't have to go to Twitter to deal with drama as long as the archives are true, man. True. Alright. Oh, there's four caves here. One that I didn't discover. That's interesting. This, yeah, it looks like there's about four caves in each area. Okay, cool. Because I know some areas only have three caves in the original Pikmin 2. Anyways, this is, has been a short stream. I thank you guys for all coming from Augie's stream. Hopefully you're interested in the Pikmin streams. Normally I'm not this agitated, but I'm actually like really kind of stressed due to like all the... Like I've... 
Like, I feel like I just don't have any time to do anything. Like, I want to relax and play this game, but I do have videos to make, and I feel like if I don't get them out in a certain amount of time, the drama will come become irrelevant. But, uh, a <laughs> good, amount, good amount of each type. But, yeah, I'm gonna go off and finish... I'm gonna log off of the stream and finish working on my video. But I will try to stream this soon because I do enjoy streaming it and hopefully we'll have like a less stressful level so I can more be more chill more relaxed and talk with all of you guys so I hope you enjoyed the stream if you did be sure to follow so you know when the next stream is happening and uh yeah thank you all so much for coming from Augie's stream thank you Augie for the raid I don't know how many viewers we're at now I can check I guess uh we're at 43 that's a lot more than I used to have so, I'm glad you guys enjoyed. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.